What's going on guys, Killer6 back with another Borderlands 3 guide for you and this time I'm going to show you guys the absolute fastest way to get legendary loot tinks on Borderlands 3. Now what are loot tinks? Well first of all here's the map, you want to go to Jacob's Estate and you want to go to this bridge right here that I marked on the map. So what you'll do is you take this pathway, you have to go through this area here, stay on the walkways and you're going to basically go to up and around so going back to what i was saying what are legendary loot tinks loot tinks in this game are just like loot midgets in the previous borderlands borderlands 2 they can drop a lot of loot they can drop a lot of money they can drop a lot of class mods weapons shields you name it and uh, yeah you're going to want to do this farm guys so once you get to this bridge the cool thing is all you gotta do is run over here into this little area and then boom right there guaranteed loot tank every single run so after you kill them make sure you go over to their dead body open up their backpack watch the loot explosion pop out now the best part about this farm after you save and quit guess where you spawn right at that bridge you don't have to run all the way back over there again you spawn at the bridge you run across and there's the loot tank this is the fastest loot tank farm that you can do in the game now big thanks to a lot of my viewers i don't even know who all to thank for this one because i got about 10 messages at the same time from different viewers saying hey check out this loot tank farm and uh i don't know who the original source is so i'm just gonna say thank you to all my viewers who submitted this to me i appreciate you guys this is an amazing farm you're going to get some good stuff. This is on normal. This is on normal mode where I got these legendaries right here. Later on here in just a second, I'm going to bump up the difficulty to Mayhem 1. And even at Mayhem 1, you're going to get a bunch of loot. At Mayhem 2, you're going to get way more loot. So yeah, this is without a doubt the best legendary farm for early game. Actually, basically mid game because like you saw there is level 23. But like I said, even once you get to end game, if you want to farm these loot tanks and get stuff that's on level, just go here to Sanctuary, go up to the top, and turn on Mayhem Mode 1. Now that scales everything to about your level. As you saw there, the uh, the loot tank becomes uh, a little bit different, but he still drops a bunch of loot. He becomes a hoarder tank. And as you can see, I killed this one, he dropped four legendaries. This is on Mayhem 1. This isn't Mayhem 2 or Mayhem 3, this is Mayhem 1. And we got four legendaries from this loot tank. That's just ridiculous, guys. Now, I mean, there are some other really, really good farms in this game. There are some really fast ones that you can do. But for the amount of work that you have to do here, literally, you cross a bridge, you shoot one enemy, you open up a backpack, and you get loot. You really can't beat that. So here it is with Mayhem 2 on, as you can see, getting even more legendaries. This, this farm is ridiculous. This is, if you want to get, uh, even if you just want to get like purple class mods, I mean, you're going to get some legendary ones here, but if you even just want purple class mods, these guys are great for that too. But uh, yeah, man, do yourselves a favor, head to Jacob's estate. Uh, if you're just now getting to that part of the story, then good news, you can sit here and farm for a little while before you head up to the actual estate and fight some bosses that are coming up in the story. So I hope this uh, video was helpful to you guys. If it was, please take a second, hit that like button, hit subscribe for more, tap the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Y'all have a great day.